Low poly style is extremely popular on the internet at the moment. It involves creating a picture from basic shapes, usually triangles, but most people assume that you have to use either 3D software or Adobe Illustrator to create this classy style. Well, let's have a look at how you can create a low poly portrait in Photoshop in just five easy steps. The beauty of low poly is that you can transform any old picture into something new and modern, but it's important to pick a picture that will look good transferred into the style. Once you've picked your picture and made some preliminary adjustments, perhaps using Camera Raw, grab the polygon or lasso. Draw a triangle over an area on the subject and select I to bring up the eyedropper. Select the colour, tweak it in the swatches and then fill in your colour in the space you've created. All we need to do now is to carry on creating triangles until we've completely covered the portrait. It might be hard to see exactly how the picture is coming on for a while, but just persevere with this selecting and filling technique and remember to keep the shades between separate triangles distinctly different. Completely cover your subject in these triangles that you're creating. Remember too that if you add small triangles you'll have more detail, bigger triangles and you'll have less detail, so it's good to vary the size of them. If you need a little help or fancy a quick shortcut, duplicate your layer and use the cutout filter. This is a quick fix for creating low poly and a useful filter to use alongside this tutorial. Next, simply drag a low poly texture into the picture to use as a background. Again, follow the link below to download a set of free textures from the file silo. Finally, add a texture. You might not feel like you want to add one, but it can really bring out the picture if you insert a paper texture over the entire image. Set your layer to overlay or linear light and the texture will be filtered over the project as a whole. There are some great textures available from Media Militia, such as the wallpaper texture that we've used here, so check them out using the link below. We're going to use vibrance and curves to complete this image and you may also wish to use a gradient map if you're looking to add colour to an image depending on the tone. Remember to group all of your low poly layers and clip the adjustments. There we have it, that's how to create a low poly portrait in just 5 simple steps. If you've liked the video, please click the thumbs up below and hit subscribe on our channel. Follow us on Twitter too, at PShopCreative and until next time, thanks for watching.